Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, I'm going to be basically showing you this certain GPU setting that will drastically improve FPS and drastically improve game feel depending on what game you use this with. So this depends on your specs. This is really, really dependent on your specs. If you don't have specs that actually support this feature, then you cannot do this. So as you can see, I'll scroll down to about the specs that you need for resizable bar support. Support. So you need at least AMD Zen 3 CPUs or AMD third gen CPUs as well. So those work, but you need to update your BIOS if you're on 3000 series Ryzen and 10th gen Intel and above, you should be able to enable this feature. And for your GPU, you need to have a RTX 3000 series or above. So 3060s and above or 4060s and above. And if you have a Radeon GPU, it depends, but all of them work. It's just except the ones that are older than RX 500. So for example, the RX 550, you need to do a specific little trick in order to have it enabled. And it's called something else for AMD. It's called clear access memory, CAM. That's if you have full AMD system. So a Ryzen CPU and an AMD GPU, that's what it's going to be called. If you have Intel and an AMD GPU, it's just going to be called resizable bar. So depending on your game, this will actually give you a huge performance uplift, but not every game actually benefits from this. Some games actually you just end up getting worse performance or about the same or more so you need to make sure you test your game whenever you enable this feature and actually make sure that you're actually getting a benefit from this if you're not then just turn it off for that specific game if you're playing other games that actually benefit from it or turn it off completely so the easiest way to check if it's already enabled for you is open up your nvidia control panel and click system information on the bottom left and it will pop up with a column that says resizable bar support and it should say yes or no. If it says yes, then you already have it enabled, but you might just need to force it for your games if you're on NVIDIA control panel. And for AMD, you just need to open up your AMD Radeon control panel, go to performance tab, and then make sure clear access memory is enabled or resizable bar is enabled. If it says no, or if it says not available, you need to go to your BIOS, enable above 4G, decoding and then enable above resizable boss support and you can either set it to auto or enabled it depends on your bios but make sure it's either on enabled if you have that option or it's on auto but you need to have above 4g coding enabled to actually enable resize bar support which is why some games might actually suffer from enabling this because some games don't like above 4g decoding but that's just another note to watch out for and another thing before you enable anything is you want to go to your disk management and you can search up create and format hard disk partitions this will open up disk management find your c drive and then whatever disk is on so for example mine's on disk one i'm going to right click on disk one click properties go to volumes and make sure this says gpt if this does not say gpt and it says mbr don't enable resizable bar support all right you're gonna have problems and you're gonna have a boot loop basically because this feature only works on gpt which is a newer partition table for your ssd slash hard drive or whatever you're on currently so make sure this says gpt if it doesn't then there is ways to change it to gpt but it depends on what way you do this if you're on a custom os then it's going to be way harder to do this and you might have to reinstall windows and before reinstalling windows you might have to go to your command prompt in the window setup and use disk part to convert your disk to gpt from MBR. So very, very important. Make sure your disk partition style is GPT. If it's not GPT and it's MBR, you have to figure out some way to convert it to GPT, which I won't be covering in this video. Maybe in the future I will, but make sure it says GPT if you want to use this feature. So once you make sure it says GPT for your disk partitions and you have the right specifications for this feature, so you have 10 10th gen Intel and above, 3000 series Ryzen and above, RTX 3000 series or above and AMD Radeon RX 500 series or above then you're able to enable this feature all right but just want to make it clear that you might have to update your BIOS in order to enable this feature because older BIOSes might not have this in their BIOS in the settings so make sure you update your BIOS if you want to enable this feature and you want to test it out especially if you're on Ryzen because if you're on a Ryzen 3000 series you're not able to enable this without updating the BIOS so you want to make sure that is enabled and then if you're on NVIDIA graphics card you have to go through NVIDIA profile inspector and you could force rebar features 
feature, like basically for all your games. So head over to the link in the description. It will take you to NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Once you downloaded it, just open it up. So once you've opened it up, you literally just want to scroll down towards common. So this could be number five. And then R bar feature right here. Set this to enabled. R bar options. We're going to set this to the one that ends with one. So zero, zero, one. And then R bar size limit. Set this to zero, zero, four million. So you want to make sure it's like these settings, these three are changed to the same ones I have. And you want to press apply changes on the top right and then restart your PC and it will basically force it for all your games. And if you want to disable it for a specific game, you can search up a game like Fortnite, for example, you want to disable it for Fortnite, you can search up Fortnite in the profile right up top and then you can just disable it, set it back to basically the default options, which set to disabled and then press apply. Same thing for other games, but COD, I'm pretty sure you get a boost from this. So make sure you turn it on if you're going to play COD. But yeah, so that's a way to force it for NVIDIA GPUs. And if you're on an AMD RX 500 series or older, there is a patch in order to basically enable resize bar support or clever access memory. You could basically visit the, one of the links in the description. It sh I should label it the guide to basically enable rebar support for AMD graphics card that are older. Click that and then follow that guide and it will basically teach you how to enable it for your specific GPU, even though it's unsupported, but it'll be supported with that guide. So this feature requires requires basically testing because again not every game is going to benefit from this and not every game will increase performance some games will just be the same or some games will just be worse so you want to make sure that if the games that are worse you can disable it through NVIDIA profile inspector but if you're on AMD you can't and yet yeah, test it extensively make sure you're getting a performance uplift and last but not least you also want to make sure you have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on if you're going to use this feature so this is only for NVIDIA graphics card but press your Windows key and I go to system scroll down go to graphics settings and turn on hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if you're going to use rebar support if you're not just leave it off but if you are turn it on if you're going to play cod however you want to turn this off but every other game you're good to go to turn this on with rebar but for call of duty turn it hard accelerated GPU scheduling off but for other games it should be perfectly fine so that's pretty much it for this video guys if you enjoyed this drop down below your results really want to make sure I get some results in the comment section so if you actually notice the difference in a certain game comment down below maybe there's some other people that want, are wondering what games this work on and if they're going to get a benefit but they don't want to test it so drop down below if you tested it properly and if you notice the uplift in whatever game you're playing drop down a comment and try to help some others but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys if you want a full pc optimization service where i cover this specific thing for you and depending on what game you play i actually tell you if you should, if you should enable it or not then head over to the link in the description where you can get a full pc optimization service where you could get way more fps the least possible amount of input lag on your pc specifications on your pc specifically and get the most smooth gameplay possible head over to the link in the description to book an optimization service where I literally do everything for you and second thing if you want a full PC built for you optimized for you and tested for you and then directly shipped to your home let's head over the link the second link right under my booking site to order a PC directly from me and we'll get it to you in about two weeks or so but yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys in the next one peace out